Hello everyone at the Wine Vault and Bistro. My name is Mark Plash. I'm the Southwest Regional Sales Manager for Vina Robles. Hey everybody, my name is Steve Lister. I'm the Director of Sales here, based in uh, beautiful Paso Robles. Wanted to say hello to Chris. It's been many, many years since I've seen you. Um, and I want to say hello to everybody at the Wine Vault Bistro family. And uh, thank you for having us in your homes this evening. All right, so uh, we're putting together some nice clips and information that we think you guys are gonna enjoy. So why don't you follow us into the winery, the hospitality center, and uh, let's get this thing started. So Vina Robles translates to Vineyard of the Oaks, named after our town, El Paso de Robles, the Pass of the Oaks, because of our natural, beautiful oak forest that are in uh, the Paso Robles area. Now, this is our beautiful uh, tasting room, hospitality center. This is a multi-use uh, facility. Behind us is uh, the tasting room. Um, outside, we normally have a, a bistro service. And on the back side of our property, we have uh, a, an amazing amphitheater uh, that we show anywhere from 25 to 30 shows a year. And we've had some... Hey, hey Randy. How you doing? This is doing good. Yeah. We're just filming a, a virtual wine dinner for um, a great account in San Diego. So when you do finally get a chance to come visit, Randy Withers, your taster, our tasting manager, will be helping you out and uh, pouring you some delicious wines. So, thanks Randy. Thank you. So, uh, in 1997, Vino Robles was established. Uh, the first vineyard that was planted was the Jardine Vineyard. That's where we grow our uh, Sauvignon Blanc. And we're gonna take you to several of these vineyards throughout our virtual tour with you all. Um, but again, thanks for bringing us into your homes. And with that, I'm gonna send you over to Carter Collins, our viticulturist. Hello, Carter Collins here, viticulturist for Vina Robles. Uh, I've been growing wine grapes myself since I was a little kid, growing up here in Paso Robles uh, since I was seven. I've been working with Vina Robles for the last 11 years now. We have six estate vineyards. All of them are SIP certified. The one we're standing at right now is our Wero Wero Vineyard. Out behind me is our White Cliffs Vineyard, which is in the San Lucia Mountains. Right over the coast to the hills is the coast. You can see a nice little fog bank kind of coming in. Out south, southeast of us is our Creston Valley Vineyard, where we grow really premium Cabernet Sauvignon. Just north of us from here, we have two more vineyards, the Jardine Vineyard and the Pleasant Valley Vineyard. And then up the Salinas Valley from us right here is our Mistral Vineyard. Hello everyone, we are out here at our state vineyard, Wero Wero. We got Carter Collins, our vineyard manager, pruning. It's uh, almost January here, so um, the vines are dormant. This is the time of year where uh, a lot of the uh, hard work begins. Uh, as you can see, Carter is doing his thing. Carter, you want to explain a little bit? Yeah, so what we're doing <clears throat> doing here, uh, we're doing, these vines are all cane pruned. So if we look at the vine over here, on my right, uh, the, this old growth here, this is actually all gonna get removed and we'll end up pulling down a new cane and laying it down. And this will be our, our new fruiting cane for the next year. Uh, so we're gonna go through, we're gonna clean up all the, the old positions we don't want and we'll end up laying down four of these canes and then we'll have four what we call renewal spurs, which will be this, which will grow our new canes for the next year. So we saw pruning. Now let's uh, head back to the winery and we'll see where all the magic happens. All right, well welcome to Vino Robles Winery. Uh, this is where all of the processing takes place. You see our uh, half ton bins. The grapes are picked, loaded into half ton bins. We bring them over to uh, this area, which uh, 
as we sit here uh, on December 30th uh, filming this video, all that uh, equipment is uh, put in, into a garage to protect it during the winter months. But we're gonna snap back and show you what it looks like during harvest. Welcome to the uh, fermentation tank room. This is where all of the uh, primary fermentations take place. Uh, we moved into this uh, amazing winery in 2018 and um, just in time for harvest. This is, you're having the 2018 Cab and 2018 Arborist. And those were the first wines that were produced in this new facility. Uh, this is state of the art, like I've said a few times now. Every drop of rain that hits this building, we collect we send to our irrigation ponds we use for watering the Wera Wera Vineyard. 100% um, solar power uh, for this facility as well. So these are our fermentation tanks. They're double lined uh, so we can pump a cooling agent called glycol through these tanks. And that will allow us to slow down the fermentation. Uh, so typically our red wines are fermented for uh, anywhere from 12 to 16 days. Um, and also on these tanks, each one of these is hooked up to its own pump. And that might sound a little technical, but what that allows us to do is manage the pump overs. In order to get the extraction, the red color into the red wine, where the tannin and flavor comes from, you have to pump over the juice over the top of the skins to get all that beautiful extraction from the skins. With that, I'm gonna send you over to Mark for a visit in our barrel room. Okay, now we're leaving the tank room and heading into the barrel cellar. So let me show you where the most exciting part of the winemaking process happens. So isn't this exciting watching uh, these wines age? All right, in all seriousness, barrel aging is extremely important in winemaking. Uh, this is our spice rack, right? We use uh, oak barrels from three different countries. Mostly French, but we also use American oak as well as Hungarian oak. Uh, we source uh, uh, oak barrels from over 20 coopers, which are barrel makers. Uh, each one of these barrels is of roughly 55 gallons. Since they're all handmade, it's not an exact uh, size, which produces just about 22 to 24 cases of wine. Okay, as uh, we continue the barrel aging process, um, at some point the wine has to end up in bottle. Um, unfortunately, we are not at that point right now. Uh, these wines need a couple more months, probably looking at February before uh, we're able to bottle. Um, so with that, why don't we uh, look at this uh, first wine. Okay, now the fun part. The first wine this evening, is our 2019 Mistral Single Vineyard Chardonnay out of the uh, southern tip of Monterey. So the Chardonnay you, you guys are enjoying comes from our Mistral Vineyard. Our Mistral Vineyard is just north of here, about 45 minutes. It runs right along the uh, San Lucia Mountains 
just on the uh, east side of it. Uh, the Mistral Vineyard, you know, we chose that site um, because it's it's a cooler climate and really to grow world-class Chardonnays, you, you gotta be cooler climate. We've tried here in Paso, but the Chardonnays we get out of that vineyard, it just really excels. What I like most and have found that the most people that try this wine really enjoy the fact that it's it's not Chablis style and it's not a big butter bomb. It's right right there in the middle. It keeps it really bright. It does. You get that real fresh, you know, fresh um, oh, God, citrus character in it and it just has a kiss of oak on the finish from that uh, from that oak aging. I'm a, I'm a big fan, especially with this crab yes. mac and cheese. Holy yeah. smokes. I man. know, that's, that's, it's torture. Torture with nothing in front of us here, but. Uh, yeah, they were supposed to send it up. Why did we didn't get it? <laughs> I know. I mean, I it's not fair. That's cheating. It's cheating. Chris, come on. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed that Chardonnay with that uh, crab mac and cheese. Now this is um, a recent addition to our portfolio. 2018 uh, Arborist. We're super excited about this, um, this blend. This is a blend of 41% Syrah, 35% Petite Syrah, 12% Grenache, and 12% uh, Tanat. It's got a fun story, uh, so I'm going to send it out to the uh, Jardine Vineyard, and uh, we'll see you back here in just a few minutes. This is where Vina Robles all began. This is the first vineyard that Mr. Neff found and plant planted. Uh, and behind me, you'll see a 300 plus year old Valley Oak, uh, which is beautiful. Um, I joined the team at Vina Robles in 2016 and our managing partner, uh, Hans Meikle brought me here. We're pretty much where we are right now. We're walking through here and, and he points up at the tree and he says, that's the tree on your business card. That's the tree on the wine label. And it sort of muddles under his breath. He says, yeah, that's the most expensive tree that we, uh, that we own. And I, I just kind of said, what, what does that mean? It was kind of an odd thing to say. And he said, well, it got diseased a few years ago, so we had to bring an arborist out to get it healthy again. So three years later, the 2017 vintage came around and we released the first vintage of the arborist. So you're drinking the 18 vintage this evening. And since then, we've partnered with a great organization based out of Vermont, and it's uh, the One Tree Planted. And for, from proceeds of sales from the arborist, we will plant trees throughout the United States. So we're, we're very proud that that oak tree is doing well, and we're proud to even plant more trees in the future. All right, well, I really love that story. We love our trees. So now let's get down to uh, actually trying this wine, tasting it. It's got a big cherry. Yeah, I just love, I love how this wine is compared with so many different things. With uh, it being primarily Syrah and Petite Syrah based, it can hold up with uh, some of the big meats, um, big barbecue, and uh, you it know. It's great with so many different foods. I mean, it must be going really good. I wish we didn't get any. It was supposed to be sent, but. Jambalaya and the Zatata, roasted chicken. I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds good. I mean, the wine goes great with just burgers, pizza, I've got little ones at home, so goes good with some chicken fingers. Not so much with the ranch, but the barbecue. <laughs> exactly. Beautiful. You gotta love the, uh, the arborist. And you can see that promotion we have here that we're working with the one tree planted. Thus far, we kicked this prog program off in September. We've already planted over 7,000 trees. All right, that was the 2018 arborist. Now moving Actually, on. Steve, if I can interrupt uh, just real briefly. Uh, this is last call on the Arborist. Uh, after receiving 94 points in the Wine Enthusiast, uh, top 19 in the, uh, the, of their top 100, it is really flying off the shelf. So last call, get it while you can. So now we're moving on to our flagship. This is the 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon. You want to go over the blend and the... Uh... Yeah, so um, it's pretty consistent vintage to vintage, changes ever so slightly. Uh, the 2018 is 85% Cabernet, 15% Petit Verdot. It's uh, in 20 months in French, Hungarian, and American oak. This comes from two vineyards. The one we were at today, uh, the Huero Huero Vineyard, which I'll talk to you a little bit more about in just a second, the Creston uh, Valley Vineyard. It's a beautiful southwest facing slope. It's an amazing vineyard. You get really these 
big, bold, fruit forward uh, notes. And then we blend that with a vineyard, a block that we were at today with Carter Collins uh, from the Huero Huero Vineyard. And I get the questions that, uh, often about what does Huero Huero mean? Well, right behind our Huero Huero Vineyard is the Huero Huero Creek. Huero Huero is a Spanish term that means blonde or white, white, because the calcareous limestone soils that make up that creek are so opaque. It's almost the color of my paper here. I mean, it's, it's, it's blonde, very, very white, uh, which are limiting soils that really make so, for some intense uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. So that's a little description on Huero Huero. Um, so a blend between the two different uh, vineyards and just a, a phenomenal cab. Like Mark was saying earlier, um, the consistency is, is here and Kevin is doing such a great job with, uh, with making some world-class Cabernet Sauvignon. Well, how'd we do? We try to get a little bit of information about Vino Robles Winery, throw some uh, Paso Robles information at you. We got some vineyards, we got winery, we duck in too techie. But I wanted to thank you for having us in your homes this evening. And with that, yeah, all I can say is we really enjoy doing this uh, and looking forward to be being part of uh, something less virtual next time. Uh, 2021 is going to be a great year for everybody. Have a happy new year and hopefully we'll see you in person soon.